Good morning, everyone. Today I'd like to share with you another project that I completed for my design team project. Um, this would be for Country Craft Creations. And what a fun, fun project this was to do. Um, I had the Authentic Always collection, which is a wedding collection. It's one of their newest. And this was really a fun collection to work with. Um, the different thing about this collection, there's not a lot of color to it. So this would be easy for you to use to add your own accent colors depending on, of course, you know, what the wedding colors were. I didn't bring in any color. I wanted to use the collection as it was. I think that you will enjoy it and like it as it is. And I think it, it really makes a beautiful piece. What I have made is an accordion album and it is permanently attached to the memento box with the drawer. See the cute drawer. And of course on the bottom um, I've used wooden feet, wooden dowel feet, and I put some jewels on those too to kind of dress it up. And I usually do put my handmade for you by Brenda on most of my items when I remember to do it. <laughs> But this is what I have made with this collection. I hope you enjoy it and I will get through this. And then I will also have some photos on my blog, some stills as long, uh, as long, along with the materials list. Um, all of these materials can be obtained at countrycraftcreations.com. Um, Tammy ships faster than anyone you've ever seen. It's just it's almost scary how quickly you can get your stuff from there so you never have to wait very long all right let's get started uh, again this is permanently attached this accordion album to this memento box with the drawer I'm going to go ahead and zoom out a little bit so you can see it all whenever I start pulling this out okay what I did on the cover is I went ahead and Authentic always has a quote on their paper lines. Um, it always has to do with that particular line and they're always spot on. I like to use them whenever I do creations. Uh, I try to bring those in as best I can. This was along the top of the paper lines, uh, the sheets, the 12 by 12 sheets. However, this particular quote which is the same that runs across the top of the papers this was on the back side of the 6x6 pad and this again is the authentic always collection this says for you see each day I love you more than today more than yesterday and less than tomorrow beautiful beautiful quote the papers are fabulous again they always have such beautiful papers the graphics the themes they're always just perfect. What I did with, with this, I did go ahead and I used the cream colored card stock, it's textured card stock, and I've inked with the Prima Philosophy inks. I love these, this is their sepia. And I love these inks because they don't smear. You can put these on immediately, they're there. They're not gonna smear like your regular other inks or like several of the ones I've used in the past. So that's a definite plus. I went ahead and I fussy cut around this particular leaf by the flower and down along this lacy edge so that I could put this, this quote in behind those so it would stand out a little more. Okay, let's go ahead and open this. I'm gonna do my best to keep you in frame. Um, again, this is, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit further. This is an accordion album. So it comes out. Hang on, y'all. Comes out. Comes out. Lots and lots and lots. Okay. Turning the first page, however. On the inside of the cover, I've got a pocket, and again, all these papers are from the Authentic Always collection. I went ahead and I matted one of the cut-aparts. The cut-aparts in this collection are fabulous, absolutely fabulous. I just love these so much. 
let me zoom in just a hair okay and then what I've done is I've gone ahead and I have a couple of the cut aparts again and I inked the edges of these and I've got some of the colored seam bindings to use for the ribbon pulls these fit nicely right back in this front pocket these would be nice you could go ahead and put pictures behind there you could go ahead and put any kind of mementos you'd like to in behind here some of the wedding cards perhaps even one of the wedding invitations would be nice to make sure that you kept nice and safe on this next page again I've got one of the smaller cut aparts that's been matted and inked and I went ahead and I used this one and again this could be used as a photo mat with a photo on the back side this just slides nicely right up behind that stop turning the page we have a belly band running across the side and I've dressed up that belly band using one of the small cut aparts matted and inked and this is another one of the gorgeous cut aparts and on the back side there's space there's space for date and information you could go ahead and put maybe the wedding party the names and the dates of everything on here um, that way it's nice and safe it's very secure under that belly band it's not going anywhere on this page I've got a side stop where again I used one of the cut aparts and I've inked that and this holds a couple more of the cut aparts the cut aparts in this collection are absolutely fabulous the front side and the back sides can be used on these. Perfect. You can do some journaling, you could add pictures. Again, lots and lots of space on these cut aparts. Very, very easy to use. I love these papers. I think that the, even though there's not a lot of color, I think that the uh, graphics on them flow nicely and it would be so easy for you to add your own accent color to these. do it this way okay next page again I have a top stop here and I've gone ahead and matted one of the cut aparts and I've left room at the bottom for the journaling more pictures are journaling on the back side slides nicely right back underneath that top stop and this is the last page on this side and I've got another bottom pocket and yes some more of the beautiful beautiful cut aparts and again as you can see on the back side there's places to write or you can affix photos very very well thought out on this collection I think so when we close this accordion back up okay now we're going to open it from this side Okay. On this side we have a belly band running down, long ways, and I've gone ahead and dressed up the belly band and used another one of the small cut aparts that's been matted and inked. And I've used another one of the cut aparts and used some of the uh, colored seam binding. This would be a perfect place, again, to hold some photos, some journaling. And on this side, I've got a bottom corner pocket. This says, you are my today and all of my tomorrows. And I've gone ahead and used one of the cut aparts that I've made into a booklet. And another one of the sweet cut aparts on the inside. Open this. This says dreams really do come true. I've gone ahead and matted two of the smaller cut aparts and inked them on the bottom and those hold another beautifully matted cut apart. Dreams really do come true. Perfect for journaling or a photo and enough space to hold more photos comfortably here. On this page, what I've done is I went ahead and I fussy cut around this heart so that it would become then a holder and it says I do love you I used again some of the colored seam binding and on the back absolutely space for journaling 
this fits nicely right back in. So as you can see, lots and lots of space. Lots and lots and lots of space. Yeah. Here, this, I meant for this to go right here. Now, the cute thing also, again, I said this was a memento box, and on the front, as you can see, there's a drawer. This is a Tim Holtz pull. I did decorate this with the papers from the collection, from the Always collection. Cute, cute, cute. And the drawer, as you can see, pulls out perfectly. I've gone ahead and decorated the complete inside of the drawer. And I've uh, matted and inked one of the small cut aparts. It says, You are my everything, and that is hard fixed to the bottom. I love, love, love the art glitter glue. It's wonderful for adhering anything, it holds so well. Absolutely love it. And back here, I had one of these hearts from my uh, stash and I went ahead and I put that inside as well and this just slides nicely right back in. I used a lightweight chipboard to make the box. So yes, the boxes is, is all hand done and uh, because you needed to score the chipboard to make the box, I used the lightweight chipboard and it is very, very secure, very strong love how this turned out. So thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy this project and check out my blog. I will have a link at the bottom of this and there will be a materials list and some still photos so that you can also get your collection to make something creative with this wonderful authentic always. Thanks ladies for stopping in. Um, I'll be sharing another one shortly. Thank you.